if you think about it, there may not be another team in the NBA that has more players on their roster with something to prove this season than the New Orleans Pelicans. I'm going to tell you pretty much 75% of the team, they all have something to prove. Let go. You must know that first, can't nothing and nobody fade what we trying to do and what we about to do. Second thing is, we got this game on our level. You understand what I'm saying? Welcome to another episode of In Space with Chris Connor. I am your host here. Shout out to DraftKings Sportsbook. Shout out to Bursar Law Firm. Shout out to Jägermeister. Um, man, it's like my third show today. Like y'all, y'all don't know this by the time this come out, but man, it, it's it's good to be recording again. It's it's really like a rhythm. I'm trying to think. Did one, two, or three? No, actually, it's number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's number four. It's been a it's been a busy day. Um, but yo, man, I've been I've been sitting on this topic for a little bit, and I was thinking the other day, like. How many players the Pelicans have with something to prove? You start thinking about, um, and look, right? It's been a message, I think, across the board for from players to front office people that, I mean, fans, supporters, time for talking is done. Time for conversations about vibes and, and you know, and, and, and culture and, and chemistry. We'll revisit that, but right now is about action. And I heard a lot of people say that outside of media day, on the side, behind closed doors, through text messages, through like a lot of people associated with this team, players involved, that know it's time for, um, action this season is about action and it feels like for all the talk that we've been doing myself included about how make or break this year could be how important this season is for the future of a lot of different components of, in this organization it feels like at least the the message is present with the players that are going to be on the floor as well but that led me to thinking about if you just strip down, if you strip down, if you if you start just talking about the roster, you start talking about just individuals. It's not just a team that has something to prove. It's a lot of the roster. And I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through it with y'all. Zion, enough said. Enough said. Was on his way to who knows last season. Got this team as high as they've been in the standings in a very long time, even for a brief period. The energy was different. Something to prove. Simple. And the dude that showed up to media day, he said that. He told you that. Enough said. And that's and that's that's beyond how many games he's played over over time. That's beyond anything else outside of basketball. You can tell that he feels like he has to go out and deliver this season and i think he will dj mccullum you would say what does the dude like cj have to prove maybe some say that what does the dude like that he's he's accomplished he's made the made the playoffs his playoff streak ended unfortunately with new orleans but that's something that he has to prove he has to prove that what he did in portland or what he was a part of in portland can happen within new orleans more than just in a play-in tournament and passing out you know getting outside of the playing tournament or being in the playing tournament back-to-back -back seasons it's a dude that's talked about a banner if you go back to you know the interview that was put out with jared slash five um the exclusive he got with cj five asked him a good question about what he's about what cj said a little bit about a year ago about putting a banner in new orleans but beyond that it's a dude that played hurt last season and wasn't himself in some respects. People may have forgotten about it, but that was the truth. Um, what, 32, 33 years old? 
No, nah, I don't think he's 33. I think I'm I think I'm adding a year on that on his age. That, that, that ain't fair. But you know, there was folks when CJ was healthy that was questioning if he's the if he's the guy. It's folks that when he start talking about the salary, you know, uh cap down the line, and you start talking about um, you know, the money that folks are making in a deal that CJ it helped orchestrated put together is people talking about if he's the first one out of the building of the guys that's making the big money on the pelicans it's folks that wonder you know um is he still the level of player that he was even dating back to his um the player running new orleans i think he is and everything that you hear so far about him best shape that you've seen him definitely the the best shape he's been he, he's been in since he's arrived in new orleans for sure but dating back to the end of last season ending against oklahoma city cj was on business and he's done nothing but deliver but i think he has some reminding i think of a lot of folks his something to prove is i am going to do what i said or i'm going to come somewhere close to it as a new orleans pelican and on top of that I'm still a really damn good player. I'm not just solid. I'm not just okay. I'm not a dude that's just, you know, that's going to be a six or, or, or a seventh man. I can do it as a starter. I can do it playing point guard every now and then. I think CJ has some reminding to, to do. He may not say it 100% because of what he's accomplished um, throughout his career, but I think it's somewhere in the back of his mind. That's somebody with something to prove individually when it just comes to stature and place in this league um, going forward. Herb Jones, something to prove. Um, a dude that probably should have made a defensive team, maybe. Yeah, you know, something to prove. Like, all right, I showed y'all two years. Now this year, it got to happen. Now we know, we believe why it didn't happen. But yeah. Oh. On top of that, hey, that march I had where I shot, what, 38% from three? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not a dude that's going to be – I'm not going to be Andre Robeson. No no disrespect to Andre Robeson. No disrespect to, you know, Philly, Matisse, Thie, you know, uh, Thibault. No disrespect to any to any really good defender, an elite defender that ended up being, um, you know, I won't say a problem, but almost unplayable with the group you need him with the most because of shooting woes or offensive um consistent ability her is more than sure out to prove you put me in that corner i'm knocking down 35 to 38 percent from deep i will not i will not go through stress where people will ignore me and won't pay for it in the corner and when my jump shot isn't falling i got a little bit i got some other things that i could do offensively as well Herb is, um, I think, a constant, a constant professional and probably one of the more consistent personalities and players that you will find in in this league. But I believe that there's also a chip on his shoulder and he has a lot to prove as someone who just got paid living up to that deal and proving uh, I got another step ahead of me than what you've seen. Statistically, he was the same dude year one and year two. He got a chance to show that his levels. um. We know we can do defensively. It may not, all the videos may not have been out, but I can promise you he's been working on showing what that could look like or what that's going to look like offensively as well and helping this team. Um, Najee Marshall, contract year, easy. That's easy right there, contract year. Najee got a chance to make some life changing money. And hell, and I mean, perspective wise for you and me, it's, I mean, what he making now is life changing. But like, how many times like I said, thirty five percent three point shooter. He might not even need to do that. And now he's gonna make some money. He took a leap last season, got a chance to do it again, and not just and 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 once again a situation where guys are out early in the season, important players that play similar positions that he does. Even without, even with them healthy, he was going to play, have a vital role in his team. But you throw in the fact that money's on the line, now you got something to prove. And if you don't know, 
go watch at some of the advancements that he's done as a shooter and go look at um go look at his his the interview he did with propel star um good people on boot crew talking about he's been locked in it in the in the uh in the gym all summer maybe the most that he's ever been something to prove and i hope it works for him my dog i i've been saying i might be the last dude i might be the last exact dude that is uh you know on this i i can't say that on this bandwagon and dyson daniels man i know i ain't the last but i know a lot of y'all that left something to prove hey like i was hurt last year but before i got hurt i was on the way to doing something really really special with the with the minutes that we're given yo i could make layups i could dunk um i could do a little bit of everything consistently oh yeah that jumper that people was worried about i added to it because the form wasn't messed up I got it better. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a reliable shooter. You know what? You know what? You know what I could do defensively. I'm gonna show you things on the other side of the floor offensively. To, so I was worth not just being a valuable part of this team. I was worth being a top ten draft pick. And while all of everything of last year may not have been about health, I think this year summer league on you are gonna see the work. And he's probably itching to show the work that he's put in to, I don't think the expectations, I don't think a lot of people will talk about expectations they have for Dyson. But I think he's going to be out to show early with a different level of intensity and confidence to show whatever your expectations are, they're way too low for bro. I've been here. So when it happens, you know I was, I all right, Kyra Lewis. Chaz want to give Kyra Lewis and not well. I, we know about Najee. He won't give Kyra Lewis keys to, keys to the bench. What Kyra got to prove? Well, another dude got some money on the lineup coming. Maybe for the Pelicans. Maybe from someplace else. I don't know. But it's a question mark about where he's going to fit in this league. A formal a former lottery pick. I think he's best off the ball. Probably as a two, as a, you know, as a, uh, as a undersized two of sorts. But regardless of what I think he fits and when it comes to positioning in, in the lead point guard or two, if I don't, you don't believe he'll point, you think he's a point. I know Kyra has the one thing that you cannot teach in this league. And that is a first step quickness, agility, and lightning speed. He has it. The stuff with Kyra had outside of availability and health and the, the players that have um passed him up in the rotation one way you know one way or another over time outside of health has just been everything else slowing down around it. that's typically what happens when you flash simply being able to slow down Kyra's another guy similar to what i talked about nashi dyson as well Jose may may not be himself to start the season. I mean, he looks like he he will start the season, but who knows what that will look like? You're going to be missing um, other guys that will be, for, you know, other you you're missing Larry Nance, you're missing Trey Murphy. There are going to be minutes available, and that's outside of possible other injuries that can happen. Kyra has the opportunity to gain minutes right away, but similar once again, like Najee, he's playing for his future plan for his future one way one way or another and as a at the guard position hey man it, it's 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 you know arguably you know the point guard is you know the hardest position i think to play in the nba so he has something to prove oh i'm better as a shooter i put in the work and yo not only do i belong in this league but i belong with consistent minutes on the team and that means that if i have a bad night or i have a couple a couple um I have a couple games where I'm not playing super well. You don't rank, you don't yank me out the rotation. No, he has a chance to prove that his spot on this team is solidified, no matter who's available. The gifts and the, the natural talent that I think Kyra has that we see sometimes in flashes, not just offensively, but defensively, which we don't talk about, it's there for Kyra. And it could add a different element to this team that they don't have, in all honesty. That's how interesting Kyra Lewis is. Something to prove. 
Um, I ain't done Brandon Ingram. Yo, if you just want to just take it back a few months, you just want to go to FIBA. Yeah, I'm sure you saw the, the Kyle Kuzma tweet, right? The Kyle Kuzma tweet about, I, man, I should have I should have pulled it up. The tweet about, about playing for Team USA and, 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 and sacrifice and not having a basketball in your hand and sitting in the corner. Everybody knew who that was for. We've seen, you know, we saw the performances. We saw the criticism. Hey. Guys that were that were in front of him, you know, you went from is he possibly the best player on this team to Austin Reeves being more important? Hmm. Something to prove. Um, health, something to prove. Another dude, money on the line. We're talking max money upcoming, something to prove. And outside of extension, outside of that, making this relationship tandem duel with zion williamson work and thrive something to prove next step bi um and maybe maybe elevating his okay stature in the league maybe top 15 top 10 first in, you know nba team an all-star again great way to remind people jose alvarado something to prove Oh, boy, the analytics loved Jose last year. I promise y'all I'm almost done. The analytics loved Jose last season, and so did New Orleans. He may not be everybody's everybody's prototypical fix when it comes to a guard in this league, but, man, different energy in the building when 15 gets on the floor. But something to prove because he got hurt at the end of last year and ain't been right since. He got hurt last season and has not been right since. Been battling with stuff ankles you know all, all different types of stuff i think nursing a sprained ankle now like something to prove hey i'm gonna i'm gonna get back and i'm still gonna be that dude and i'm worth the name that i've helped create for myself um he was a big part of that team that was with zion at the top of the west for that for that period of time if they get back there you argue he could be another one of those dudes. Something to prove. Jonas Valanciunas. Of course he got something to prove. Hey, man, people want to ship Jose, I mean, uh, Jonas off all different type of people. I mean, I, the things that I, that, I, that I have seen, they talk about his defense, talk about the things he can't control as a human being, as a, as a he, he, he can't help that he's seven feet and 260 pounds or however much he weighed and wasn't, and wasn't given uh you know shacks or i'm about to say miles turner even mo bamba's athleticism he can't help that it's just it, it, it is what it is but we know what he can do sure he's out to prove hey i said i want to be here i want to be in new orleans i want an extension i want more money as well hey man y'all not just gonna keep you know it was after toronto it was memphis you know, now now it's New Orleans. I just ain't going to be on team two years here, two years there. No, I can be a vital part of this team, even with my flaws, if used correctly. That may mean 20 minutes a night, 25 minutes a night. Something to prove. What I do does not grow on trees, even if people think it does. Larry Nance Jr., my dog Larry. Something to prove. Um, Another dude hurt last season the dude in the beginning of the year towards due to the end of the year two completely different people he talked about it he talked about it through injury and his shoulder and his ankle and all the different things that he battled with similar to so many other dudes on this team and not being able to perform to the standard that he thought not being able to to dunk in the way that he wanted change his body a little bit in the offseason but something to prove something that something to prove that he's not just a utility and then he can stay healthy for a larger part of the season um, and really impact this team for longer periods in, in the year, a full year as a small ball five, which for this team has been very important, but it's very, and very important in the league consistently. Something to prove as a leader on this team that has said repeatedly, when we are healthy, nobody wants to see us. I ain't make him say that. Larry said that. Something to prove he also ain't that far away from 
looking at, you know, additional money and, you know, a new contract down the line. He said he wants to be in New Orleans down the line. A year like this year or go, going forward, a year like this year could be very important and continuing to make it happen. And for a lot of reasons, for everything he does for the community and the player that I still think he is, especially the dude that showed up last season, something to prove. But once again, hurt to start the year, possibly maybe a little gimpy. We know we'll have to see. He says he's he'll be fine. We'll see. Something to prove. Um, man, I, I mean, I got like Cody Zeller. I, <laughs> I mean, people just an afterthought. Dog, Cody Zeller been disrespected so much. It's almost like I, like I feel bad for him now. It's like, yeah, this team added this dude, this dude, and we added Cody Zeller. And like. He's like, it ain't my fault. Like, I was just on the finals team. Like, I've been a starting center in this league. I do my job well. You, Cody could be like, y'all see the centers that y'all didn't had? They can't do what I do. I don't care how athletic they are. He might be playing backup minutes to start the year. You may be relying on Cody Zeller quicker than anyone ever imagined. Something to prove a lot of people probably were sleeping on what I could contribute. What happened? EJ Liddell, something to prove. Didn't play basketball last season. Was a first round pick. Somebody who, uh, uh, I mean, in, in a lot of people's eyes, should have, you know, was a was. I saw in some mock drafts he was a he was a lottery pick, but injuries were at fault. You know, were at were at play. Some thought maybe late twenties, whatever the case may be. But like EJ was a dude, and was the talent wasn't wasn't to question um, his ability wasn't the question maybe his size and what you think he plays in the league was the question but injuries were at play and that was one of the things you know that's you know uh been in his way since he started but oh if larry nance is gonna be hobble or if he misses time and we're talking about when i talked to larry in the first spaces he compared ej liddell to grant williams and i can tell you right now the pelicans don't have a grant williams they don't have a dude they can play some they can you know stretch the floor at that size playing uh you know a four or in some cases small ball five they don't have an individual like that who's also a solid defender and can and can defend shots at the rim ej's an interesting dude because he because since summer league no one's really really talking about him they can't until they see him and with larry's absence similar to cody zeller we keep talking about herb at the five zion at the five what about ej liddell Something to prove. Jordan Hawkins, I mean, uh, yo, hey, man, everybody keep talking about, you know, oh, Trey Murphy's out. We need more shooting. Oh, similar to Cody Zeller, right? Yo, we added this, we added this, we added Jordan Hawkins. What? You know, um, Summer League, you know, was a little underwhelming. Haven't heard spectacular things from, you know, the offseason or the camp. You know, I mean, he's a rookie. He's, you know, he's young. But something to prove like hey i just came from uconn like i can't be on the floor if i don't defend i can't be i wouldn't be on the floor and be in a position to be a lottery pick if i wasn't that dude i told y'all about everybody else told you about dice and told you about Najee. jordan between Najee, between dyson he's the latest investment of them first round pick for a team that needs shooting Oh, yeah. Something to prove like, yo, we're going to be all right. I'm 24. I'm number 24. I'm going to hold it down to my next guy, 25, get back. And we're going to end with Trey Murphy the third, my dog. Shout out. Shout out to the family. Shout out to shout out to OG Kenny and shout out to Trey recovering. Um, Something to prove. Simple. He was putting in a very exciting offseason. He was finishing up, almost done with the program that was going to, you know, I mean, that that had an offseason that was fulfilled with, you know, things that role players don't really don't really get consistently on on ESPN. You saw him on multiple podcasts. People had crazy expectations. Some true, you know, I mean, maybe some he was going to be able to fulfill, and some may, some not. People talking about him scoring twenty points a game. Oh, look. I love Trey. Not this year, right? Just 
But that's how that's how high people people are on Trey. Because I think one one day he can and will average 20 points a game in this league. Absolutely. With his talent. Right. But people were talking about, could he be an all star? Could he be this? Could he be that? Calling him a young star already. And then boom. Knee injury. You out. Has to prove that he can get back in time. Not going to miss a whole bunch of time. Be healthy. Be himself and remind folks, this is why I left off. This is what I was building. Nah, the folks that had them high, them high expectations, they were right. And here's what it looks like. Simple as that. Simple to prove. That March that he had last year that I talked about so much, I might as well get like <laughs> that March and that April that, that, that bro was on, that, that you know, Finishing the season with KD kind of percentages in certain respects and, and comparisons. Y'all know the like 50, 40, 90, and all of that dunk contest. Three the work he was putting as a dribbler, moving with the basketball in his hands. Something to prove is that's real. And I'm going to take a leap beyond that. And there's really nothing that nobody can do to really stop it. It's just gonna happen. Something to prove. I ain't get to the coaches and we run out of time. So I ain't got to, I might say that for another show, coaches, front office, everybody involved. But if we talking just the roster, it's a laundry list full. And I could even start talking about two way players. If I really wanted to dudes, it's going to be playing in Birmingham. I really could. A lot of people got something to prove. And the one thing you never underestimate. And one of the things that I really hold on to when it comes to this season is that when you have that many people, that have individual motivations and they've been around another, they've been around each other enough as a team. If you can stay healthy and folks are dedicated in the right areas, eventually it got to work. Right. But if it don't, you can't say it ain't because of the motivation. But I just gave y'all a bunch of things and a bunch of reasons that players that this team has to be motivated, ready and hungry this season this is one of my favorite shows that i've done in a while i really enjoyed this one hope it wasn't too um too long of a show for y'all appreciate y'all as always i'm gonna get y'all out of here with DraftKings. kings now you gonna close it out after that until next time nba fans the wait is over basketball's back and DraftKings sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the nba is celebrating with an unbeatable offer new customers can score 200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down five dollars on the nba Win or lose, it doesn't matter. You'll start the season with an instant dub. Basketball's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. Did it play? In the building. I told you last time, get with us. Well, get out of here, man. Know why that keep happening? Or at least on my screen, it look like it. Whatever.